Hello. I finally get to sit down. <laughs> it's been a funny old day today and I thought I wanted to do a reading for the full moon. I've done some Qigong with our channeling. I've done a meditation, a deep meditation. And then this morning, another one connecting me, feeling like I've had lots of connection and expression. And I wanted to see what intuition and what um, answers come up. So I've been doing this candle meditation in the mornings and sometimes at night. And um, I used to do this when I was younger. Where you sort of gaze into the candle like gazing into a crystal ball and express the images and the guidance that come up. Scales of the dragon. Birth of a baby in a fetus. What is it I need to know? And that will be benefit. Two points, a triangle, a knife, a little knife, pyramid with a fire at the top. The light at the top of the pyramid. As the sun sets, it looks like it's on fire. There's light all around. The birthing. Ball. Sphere. Grid. Circle. Looks like a football. You know. I'm going to leave it at that. And ask for more guidance. For this full moon, um, so far what I've asked and what has come through has been Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. The balance of that, our um, connecting with our destiny, with the Pluto points, with Venus in retrograde and all the information that comes through from that. But please elaborate what's relevant for this full moon, for my personal evolution, for our soul evolution and for the collective. For our members group. Joan of Ike, the voice of truth. Well, that one comes out every four minutes. That rips for me. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution, and speak the truth. And I, with loving words, I've no doubt. This one. The sacred self. The sh Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, and dance to the sacred rhythm of life. I've been doing that, so continuing doing what we're doing and what I'm in sharing and encouraging you guys to do. 
Lord Shiva. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. I was saying this morning about Shiva. I've been connecting to the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Well, look at this. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. The feminine, the moon. And Shiva, it's the light, penetrating light of our self reflecting. Hmm. Yeah. The light. Can you see that? Do you know where that's reflecting from? Anyway, in the ring, she doesn't like I have a kitty over there. So, divine feminine, divine masculine, penetrating light into the feminine and expanding that sacred self and transcendence. Rise up, honour your inner force. Steps are being given dance with the universe so feel the column of light flowing down you your magnetic star in aishki and another cobra is the kundalini that's what i was seeing the scales of the snake in our um macro bar so allowing the language the light language to flow in has allowed me to kind of just feel the sun I felt really energized and the divine feminine and masculine are key to this month and to where we're heading and where I felt called to speak of the sacred self even to the point where I've kind of feel this is what I'm asking for this is how I have to to move forward and I need to personally battery low uh, work out what that means I wanted to keep this quite short and sweet for you guys anyway because there's you've got so much for this full moon and by the time you catch up with everything in the members group so okay so that's sort of the personal journey for me but also where I'm heading and what I'm going to be sharing and moving through um this morning I put a little post up actually and said like I want to my page has been the same for five years and now I want to kind of move in a new direction which I've already just started doing with the light language but want to bring in the art and the painting and the creativity and expressing and embodiment and continue with this embodiment work but I I definitely want the Shigong to be part of that um because I'm full force into my studies now I've really started in the time that I've not been getting up in the morning and doing the Shigong instead I've been studying and that's benefited me so and I I feel there's a push for that I'm I've nearly completed the audio version of my course and then I'm kind of going back over it and in the written side you write essays to um to compound the knowledge so that's sort of and transcending those ideas so bringing that masculine learning and guidance feels important so what else is there from this is there anything here so the flowering of the voice of truth and there's a sense i feel that people will be fearful of speaking out and when they're spoken out, literally treated like Joan of Arc um, around this. So staying in the sacred self, I think there's a need this month for us to definitely be more present. But be present and going within is really important. It doesn't matter whether you uh, voice this, write it down, expressing it, but connect. Connect. You don't need to express to tell everyone, but um what's coming up and me too um but certainly in the first two weeks 
like analyze how you're feeling and what those desires are and why you're being triggered i was really triggered this evening by something that wouldn't normally trigger me but it's the full moon and it, it's a super full moon so for this full moon is there anything that we could benefit from knowing in our highest good that one looks both of these master jesus forgiveness well we work with forgiveness in the meditation today and sarah's bay ascension definitely happening the cobras again and the wings um seeing the wings sticking out something to do with deceit with flights and navigation just came through really random um jesus's forgiveness so we we're going to have to forgive what's been hidden and you're on this path of light and love and forgiveness and the father is healing it's possible at this time for all of us to do our own self-healing and you know that anyway um and we need to move into the true self and rise above the darkness and the light which means rising above all the polarities all the rabbit hole stuff for darkness and light which is going to be coming out in truths i think in 3d um we've got to go beyond that so what is going to be the outcome isis magic manifesting the magic's going to come and if you look at these look this again light and dark they're mirroring each other with their hairdresses they're mirroring it's the the feminine the moon and the sun the masculine the balance and what does christ represents that but he's the trinity and he it's the christic path of christ um which is also referred to as shiva and then you've got shiva and she the, like the, the christ of sophia it's the feminine christ and that feminine aspect of that so the divine feminine but with the divine masculine in balance of that opening up to our truth this full moon the magic and our ascension and the key to that is our forgiving of our past forgiving of what those truths that are going to be voiced are now going to start to come out and we know we've known since 2020 that it wouldn't have been till 2020 to and even sometimes some of the stuff isn't going to come out still i think till 2026 but um there's definitely a shift in that i think it's speeding up um how people are starting to find out so, someone said to me simon mentioned something the other day and i was like what and i, I was like i didn't and it because it came from him and i think there's going to be a sense of surprise so we need to like go beyond that yeah and um that's part of moving into our own true self our own so that's all the superficial sort of level and on the deeper level there's that forgiving ourselves uh, maybe for getting caught up in it maybe for getting caught up in our triggers and going deep what is the voice of truth what is it that you want in your life i've asked at the end of today's session in more of a journaling fashion for day um 15 in the expressing because we did movement and then um like with these desires what are your true desires and not to be afraid of them and forgiving yourself if you've given up on them a little bit if you're maybe have gotten lost a little bit i certainly had and part of this ascension is understanding and knowing thyself so this is all very airy angely i always see these as the light and this is as the earth so is there one more to pull i feel like there's one more one more thing i need to know from these i'm gonna it's to shuffle what will be the outcome overall for this month teacher awakens so mary magdalene 
And we've got Mag Mary Magdalene with Jesus, that's why. <laughs> You've got Shiva and Sarah's Bay and Isis. And I just seeing this is masculine, feminine, masculine, feminine, masculine, feminine. And then let's pull one to go with Joan of Arc. We got Mekazadek, higher learning <laughs> and teacher awaken. Well, I asked outcome, didn't I? What's the outcome? The outcome, these two. Now, although he's got that, what everyone calls the daisy of death now, the higher learning, I just think that's that misinterpretation of that. I think that's, this is what this forgiveness is. This is like where where it all got unraveled when when they took the text and the learnings and they only gave one side of the story. This is, um, you've learnt from the experience of that. Now we've got to move to the inner study. It's now required to further the progression. Now we all know there's this, what happened and the divine feminine, the divine feminine, all the circles and stuff. But the divine masculine is what I feel is rising. It's that out of balance and seeing the other side of it. We've only had one side of that. Now, there's lots of like her story and Mary Magdalene's story is definitely has started to come through. And I think in women's circles, we have that now. I think I see this men's circles and their spirituality and wanting it to see that in connection with their own divine feminine but their masculine aspects and those traits and how different that can be. And both need to happen. We don't want it to be all the feminine, even though it is, we talk about the divine feminine rising, but it's the balance of these two that is key. And that's the learning. It's experiencing it and the importance to share, to follow the inner call and not let anything stop you to listen to the heart. Okay, and in the earth, in our ancestors, what wisdom have they to share for this moon? And not so much for the moon, for this day, for this, this alignment, this connection, this month, um, and this now moment that I'm doing this and this energy. Drums. Dream the journey and the peacekeeper. And I'm hearing the beat of the drums as in the war drums being sounded. And I think that's the lie. That's the, the stirring up going on. And the peacekeeper and the peace pipe and the buffalo and the earth and those in connection with the earth are saying, let go of the need to be right. It doesn't matter because that's just more polarity, more, more of the same, like arguing that they did this and they're wrong and the, the, this entity manipulation and this, it, it's all about polar, polarizing rather than the balance. And there's a difference, and this is what I'm hearing. Um, so feeling the drumming connection of the heart and connecting to your heart. The plains and the buffaloes and the American Indians and that connection to the earth. And even you've seen her two plaits and the weaving of the dreams and the weaving and the balancing and the turning of the wheel and dreaming our journey into being, dreaming the new earth, the steps that we're building that I keep seeing. And that's what I keep seeing this, this stuff. And, and, and just to let go of, well, this is what happened and this is, they were wrong and like, it doesn't matter. It's more about shifting into a different frequency and holding space. So 
so for me that's how I can hold space for you but also for me and to remind you to take time and hold space which is what I will do when I go to bed and I'm going to keep this short because that's another thing I'm is this drumming and the time the tick tock tick tock tick tock tick and the restructuring and I can feel this thing in calling like the Capricorn like where are we at where are we at I'm looking at the little ch -ch 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 thing of his in the circle and seeing the lilies the peace lily the peace pipe and the drums of war and that raging anger for this month will awaken our teachings and our higher learnings we need to be in forgiveness through this through these ascension steps next and that's the magic happening and in transcendence in the higher aspect of that the sacred self and the sacred space our soul's truth is what's important not so much the truth bombs that are going off in the 3D, but the soul's truth desire and move into that true self. Rise above your own darknesses and stories because they'll be clear, loud and clear. I see mine um, and there might be some emotional spots and triggers. So let go of the need to be right feels very important because it's not about being right it's about whether we can hold space for each other in a time where we might not all agree whether that rhythm of the drums might be off with each other and um what is the outcome towards the end of this month what will be and what they said before was teacher awakens and higher learning with regards to mother earth so feel loved and comforted by the earth that higher learning is there i know you guys are certainly connected to that I shall take a quick shot of this for you, for your members group, and I'll pop this video up unlisted. So it's just for you guys. Blessings for your day, your month, and the rest of the year. Take care guys, and happy full moon. Or, not so much new, happy full moon and happy sun. <laughs>